Um, this year, with the introduction of the BPS, um, farmers were required to take dung samples from their cows to measure the level of um, liver fluke and stomach fluke that's in their, in their cows. Um, and a lot of them samples now have come back to the farmers. So I'm just going to talk about the, how to interpret them samples and, and how to view them and how to go work forward with them. It's important to remember that there's three stages of liver fluke. There's early immature, there's immature and there's um, adult liver fluke. So it's important to realise that if the fluke haven't got to the adult stage, there will not be eggs, even though there may be two stages of, of fluke in the cow. Also, when they're at the adult stage, um, they only intermittently shed eggs, so there may not always be eggs in the sample. So if you come back with, 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 with no instance of, of liver fluke on it, um, but you need to discuss with your, this with your vet because it, it, it will depend on what type of land you have. Have you a very heavy wet farm? Um, what type of farm you've been doing over the last number of years? and what type of, of dosing regime or dosing plan you've had on your farm over the last number of years. And at that stage, yourself and your vet or your vet might decide that on that particular farm, that even though the sample is clear, that it's still maybe a requirement to dose for, for liver fluke. Also on the stomach fluke, on a lot of samples it comes back as low. There's a low levels or low, low positives, what they call it on the sample. So if you get a low positive, again it may be the case that you may not need to dose for stomach fluke in that instance. So again, discuss that with your vet and you can make a decision based on your herd and what has happened over the years on your farm and what type of farm you have. So um, if there's high positive on the stomach fluke, in most cases you would have to dose. And again, just always discuss the sample with your vet to make sure that you're doing the correct thing.